Hey everybody, this is Ivy. I'll be your Thursday host here on Spellbound Heathens. Okay, so this is the first week for the Spellbound Heathens. This week's topic is basically just going to be about an introduction. The first question is your name. All right, well, my name is Stephanie. What is your age? Well, I recently just turned 30 years old. So, I'm 30. Your faith. I really am not really big on labels and, you know, trying to put myself in a particular category, um, but I usually, you know, I guess most people would agree that I'm an eclectic pagan. Um, I'm a witch, um, very much into spirit, my spirituality. So basically, I kind of just saw myself up as a spiritual witch. Is your astrological sign? Okay, well, I'm an Aquarius. My birthstone is an amethyst, and I love amethyst. In fact, I recently got um, this little uh, palm stone amethyst, and it's considered a dog tooth or chevron amethyst, but I really love it because it just fits in your hand. And one of the really cool things about this that I love the most is that it has a triangle in it, if you can see it, a little light shining, but see that triangle right there. Um, and the triangle is very, um, a very powerful symbol in my eyes. Um, I'll, I can go into that another time with more details, um, but as, that's not what this video is about, is it? But I love this, and I love triangles, and I love amethyst. So amethyst is my birthstone, and it's also my favorite crystal of all the crystals. I am an air sign because I'm an Aquarius, and I do feel like I connect most with air. Um, I'm kind of always uh, scattered about, always like just working on one thing, and then I'll be jumping into another thing real quick. I'm kind of like all over the place, really. But And if you've watched any of my videos, um, I think it's starting to kind of come out a little bit about me being an air sign because huh, a lot of my videos on my personal channel have turned out to be like 20 minutes or longer. So I guess I just really get to rambling and I don't even know how long this video will be, but I am an air sign and it definitely shows. So yeah, my totem spirit animal, by far it's the owl. Um, there are personal reasons, um, very personal reasons as to why the owl, uh, how I discovered the owl as my totem animal, and I may share that with you guys one day, but I would save that for my personal channel, and yeah, so the owl by far is my totem animal. Uh, my familiar, well, I guess that would also be the great horned owl. It was just so magical one night I was outside and just kind of, um, you know, asking questions and wanting to get, you know, kind of an answer from nature um, about a certain thing that was going on in my life, and Shortly after I asked a question, I was like, I kept hearing this out. I was like, can I please just see you? And right after I said that, he flew right over my head and just kind of flew off over the shop we have next door. So that was a pretty amazing experience. Well, I scrying, I do sometimes. I have some divination tools. I have a pendulum. I have tarot cards. I have an obsidian that I use sometimes for scrying. And, you know, a lot of times I'll just kind of gaze into a water, you know. I, normally I won't even get my tools. If I have a question or something, I may pick up my pendulum and, you know, ask a quick yes or no. Or I may get me a bowl of water and just kind of gaze into that as long as it's a dark bowl. Um, get like a dark black bowl and fill it with water and just kind of gaze into that water and, you know, kind of meditate and see what you get out of it. So that's one of the ways that I would scry. God and goddess that I follow. All right, well, the God and goddess that I follow is pretty much just the Lord and the lady. I basically just address my God and goddess as Lord and lady or God and goddess or the divine, which is both of them together as one form. Sam Hain is by far my favorite Sabbath. I mean, I just get so excited. Beginning, I start kind of inside awakening more when the weather and stuff starts changing and when Sal and, or when Sam Hain is getting getting closer um, I just really just feel so alive I mean we're big Halloween fans around here I start decorating in like August for Halloween um, 
I have most direct, most of the decorations that I have for any holiday or Sabbath is for Sam Hain. So, I mean, I just go all out for that. And it, just the feeling that it feels when it's getting near is just amazing. I can't even explain the feeling because that's going to go into the next question, which is my favorite season. And, you know, by far it's the fall season because like I said a minute ago, the, the weather, everything's changing and I feel like something inside me is being awakened um, around that time period. Uh, I always feel really connected with my ancestors and I really try to incorporate them into my practice during Sam Hain because that's a, you know, where the veil between the worlds is thin. So I really like to really honor my ancestors at that time. Thanks everybody for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. If you would like to get in touch with me or uh, subscribe to my channel, I'll post a link to that below so you can find me on my personal channel. And I uh, wish you all a blessed day and blessed be.